Hey everybody, this is Doug Smith with Mobility Digest and today we're going to be unboxing the Motorola Droid 3 from Verizon Wireless. The first thing you're going to notice on the front of the package is something missing and that something missing is 4G LTE. That's right, we should see 4G LTE all over this package but unfortunately the Droid 3 is not going to be taking advantage of the 4G LTE network speed from Verizon. So. It's a little surprising because this device does come with a lot of high-end features and specs. One gigahertz dual-core processor. It does have the QHD 960 by 540 4-inch screen. So real nice stuff that comes in this. So a little surprising that no 4G goodness in this particular device. So let's go ahead and get it out of the package. Let's take a look at it and show you a little bit more about the Droid 3. So you got your device right here. Got your sync cable right here, your power adapter, whole bunch of paperwork inside there. As I've said before, no one reads it, so we won't bother to go through it here either. So, all right, very cool. Droid 3. First thing I uh, can tell right away from this device is it is a very heavy and solid feeling device. Um, this particular device weighs 5.9 ounces as a matter of fact so um, it's a little thinner uh, the actual uh, thickness of this is 0.5 so it's uh, lost a little bit of its thickness um, the width of the device is 2.5 inches wide and the length here is going to be 4.9 so um, it gives you a pretty cool cover on the front of it and pretty handy too because it tells you a little bit about the capacitive buttons on the bottom menu home back and search and gives you a brief introductory uh, to the uh, layout of the device so um, we'll go ahead and take that off here in a second on the left hand side of the device you have the HDMI out plus your mini USB charging and sync port right here on the top you have your power button and a three and a half millimeter audio jack on the right hand side of the device you have your uh, volume up and down buttons right there nothing going on on the bottom of course on the back side you have the eight megapixel camera plus flash um, have a pretty large speaker uh, port right here um, so you can actually see the speaker in there so it's pretty big um, and uh, going to the front here you got your earpiece right here I guess we need to take this off because this particular device is a Android 2.3 and with that you have a front-facing camera and also on here I don't know if you can see this uh, you have your light sensor right there so okay now really one of the nicest features about this and uh, this is a personal preference you have your five row QWERTY keyboard you have your numbers across the top and this particular keyboard has been improved with better tactile response it's also got a really cool coating uh, to the buttons too so it doesn't slide it tends to hold your finger a little better so you really get a good uh, memory of where the buttons are I think while you're uh, typing away so very large keyboard okay so that's a little bit about uh, the outside of the device and as you can see here you have the Verizon uh, logo across the bottom of it it's got a shiny finish to it black finish the back you do have a rubberized coating on it so let's go ahead and pop this uh, off right here not real wild about the back of this device it's uh, a pretty thin cover it doesn't slide on and off uh, like I'd like it to do so that you know exactly how hard and how far to press the cover to get it off so this one actually just pops right off um, this is a world phone so you have uh, CDMA and GSM on this and right here you have the uh, Vodafone um, wireless Verizon wireless uh, card right there so the battery is a 1540 milliamp battery so enough power to keep this thing going we'll test that out and see exactly how long we can get this battery to last again this is the gingerbread 
um, operating system, Google 2.3. So let's put this cover back on. It is a, it's a pretty thin cover. That's, uh, that's the first impression I get from it. So you're going to want to be careful. I don't uh, think many people take their covers on and off um, in case you do go with a um, extended battery or for whatever reason you need to take this off, you probably want to be pretty careful with it. Um, one thing I did forget to do, let's just go ahead and take this off. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's a pretty tight feeling uh, keyboard. And let's uh, take a look at the uh, screen rotation, your portrait uh, right now. Let's just see how fast this thing uh, will kick around to landscape. Uh, pretty good, not too bad. Um, yeah, but the keyboard and the slide out, it's pretty tight. Um, feels pretty good. Nothing binding on it. The mechanism feels very solidly built. And again, I can't uh, express, this is, definitely feels like a heavy duty uh, device. Um, nothing cheap about it at all. So, okay. Uh, pretty snappy. Um, we're not going to get too much into the uh, software. We're pretty much just going to stay with the uh, unboxing and the hardware. But uh, pretty snappy. Very responsive. I'm actually uh, very excited to take a look at the QHD display and see how that stacks up. Um, they advertise that it has 26% more pixels and it's supposed to be 30% faster than the Droid 2. So that's a pretty bold statement and we're definitely going to have to take a look at that. Um, so again, just a really quick recap. This is the Motorola Droid 3. It's running a 1 gigahertz processor, uh, dual core. It's got the 8 megapixel camera on the back with LED flash. This will take a 1080 uh, high def video capture. Um, some other cool things about this, uh, as I mentioned, gingerbread five row keyboard with the numbers across the top. It's going to make it real nice, very fast. Um, memory wise, this has 16 gigabytes of memory. It's expandable with a 32 gigabyte SD storage card, micro SD storage card. So you can go up to 48 gigabytes of memory on this. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, front facing camera, so you can do some uh, video chatting. And uh, let's just do a real quick comparison with my handy dandy iPhone 4. I know your Android guys are probably cringing right now. So, but let's just take a look, shall we? Um, let's see if I can hold it up right. There you go. Um, the difference here, and uh, really there's not that much difference. Uh, it's actually kind of surprising. The iPhone, of course, very thin, 0.37. Uh, inches thick uh, against the Android device here, the Motorola Droid 3, which is 0.5. So um, it's still, with a slide-out keyboard, pretty thin. So from top to bottom here, as you can see, um, the iPhone is 4.5, and the Droid 3 is 4.9 inches tall. And width-wise, they're both pretty close here. The uh, iPhone is 2.3. 2.31 inches wide and the Droid 3 is 2.5. So, all right, that's about it. So we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, went a little longer than I'd like to, but uh, thanks again for tuning in to this Motorola Droid 3 video unboxing and first impression, first look. This is Doug Smith with MobilityDigest.com and check out our full review, which I'll have posted shortly. Thank you.